Last time on Sonic Adventure Director's Cut. Eradicate all of those menaces. All, 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 all right, so we have decided that Dr. Robotnik is a douchebag. Float. All right, so E103, Epsilon, Delta. It's like we don't need no monkey destruction switch. E104, Epsilon. It's my party, I can shoot if I want to. Shoot if I want to. Shoot if I want to. You'd be sad if I shot you too. Here's your laser blaster. Its blast damages enemies in a wide pattern. Gamma has a really slow ladder climbing animation. It's also a very easy thing to do because it's actually a super long stage. All right, this part drives me up the wall because it takes time, like three seconds, to sit there and go on the cargo station. We have made it to Mr. E-105 Zeta. See, anyway, see right there, those things, those are Dreamcasts, which is what uh, Sonic Adventure originally was printed on. Who is going to win, Beta or Gamma? The rematch. And now on with the episode. Hello, everybody, I'm some random dude the fourth. And today, we are going to settle a match as age or as old as well two episodes ago who was the better robot gamma or beta the rematch we'll find that out today right now actually as we head on down towards the arena no unnecessary things just e101 mark two all right so as you'll notice and i've probably figured out this boss is a lot more difficult than some of the other bosses that you may have faced. He is super annoying. And the only way to hit him is after he does his charge attack. This boss is very difficult and also kind of annoying. He will sit there and launch Kamehameha blasts in the air at you too. Also, I... You know what? I take it back. I like this one over than, uh, over than Big Steam. It's very jazzy, it's very techno -y, and this is the only time where we get to hear it. And you try to launch it, and he's just gonna be like, nope, I'm gonna dodge and or bat it away. Alright, we're going to launch more blasts. Kamehameha! 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 That last one has a bigger blast radius. Alright, we're running around. We got more of these little dudes. And then he moves, and bam, we got him. Mark two down. Oh, cool bots don't look at explosions. Mission oh. complete. I really do like the theme to it though. Beta, Mark two, you have a really great theme song. Just saying. Probably one of the best in the game. Now it's time to hand in your man cards. Because we're about to get sad in here. Beta destroyed. Oh, just kidding. Bam! Beta's last middle finger to Gamma before he dies. And hey look, the bird was saved. One of the birds, anyway, that or Amy's friend or whatever, was saved from Beta. Which means...
Man, that ending gets me every single time. Every single time. Manly tears are shed. Okay. Saddest ending in, like, Sonic Adventure. The entire game right there. And it's so sad to see that, like, we get now why the bird uh, was able to convince Gamma in order to let Amy go. And that's because the entire time, Gamma's a bird. It's the pink bird that's part of the family, because Gamma never sees that locket. So the only reason that it knows about the picture is because of the fact that, and you see the bird right at the end. I never really got that as a kid, but I got that later on. Was that Gamma was actually being powered by a bird. That's, that was Gamma's power source. That's who Gamma was. And then he gets blown up and finally freed. And it makes sense now as to why he wanted to rescue them all, because he wasn't rescuing, you know, their souls or whatever, because they're robots. The robots were themselves were prisons, including himself. Herself. I'm not sure. I think it was the female bird, so yeah, it was herself. Yeah, it was a female. It's kind of weird. But it, it's so awkward. And it's sad. And it's actually a really touching story about, like, one of Eggman's robots. You just think, oh, Eggman's robots. We gotta go through Sonic and destroy them. But no, it's it's about, uh, the original Sonic games are about saving animals. Well, each of these robots have animals inside them. And Gamma was no exception. They all had animals in there. Beta had the dad. Uh, Gamma was the mom. And the little baby bird that follows Amy around managed to escape before it could become a robot. So... Yeah, it's, 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 it's a very sad story. But at the same time, as far as gameplay goes, Gamma is a really fun game to play. It's not really usual, or, or it's unusual, to have a gun in the Sonic games. And of course, they would never give Sonic the Hedgehog a gun. He could run faster than bullets, why bother, right? So, that's what they made the Gamma part for. They made Gamma have a gun, and they can use it to shoot enemies and gain time and have all kinds of fun with their stories. And also, it's pretty cool and badass that he can sit there and rescue his brother in arms after Eggman decided to trap them. So, yeah. Uh, the shooting style is fun, like I said. Uh, I wish I could get the, uh, the laser blaster thing in there earlier on, but it makes sense as to why I couldn't, I guess, because it's kind of OP, but it's there nonetheless. Uh, still don't get why Beta was more advanced even though it was built first, and when Eggman had the time to build the other robots, were they built before it? Uh, were they built before Gamma? Because in like Sonic Heroes and stuff, we see E-126 Omega, which is the latest in the E series. And he was built way later than Gamma was. But yeah, at any rate, uh, Gamma's a fun story to play. Uh, it just gets sad at the end. And mainly tears will always be shed at the sadness of that. It's kind of awkward. I probably should have just had this in the part of this in the last episode, but I kind of wanted to leave you guys with a cliffhanger. But that's okay. We'll get through this, and we'll go ahead and start with, uh... Yeah. Uh, yep. This is a moment that we've all been looking forward to. Right. Right. Yep. Because everybody looks forward to playing as Big the Cat. I know I do, said me sarcastically. I actually don't mind Big. I, I get why he's annoying, and I get, like, it breaks up the action, but it's kind of fun, to a degree, to just sit there and dick around and fish. Alright, so we beat Gamma's story. And there's Gamma for you, free at last, along with Daddy Bird. And that's kind of a happy ending again. It's kind of a sweet story. Very sad, but very sweet. And of course you can still play as him in the adventure mode if you want to. So, nevertheless, um, here we are. Alright guys. 
You guys know what time it is. It's the so moment that everybody's character. been waiting for. Big the cat. Let's do this. Hold on, doggy. I'm coming. Yep, we get to do this point the entire time. I'm literally going to commentate like this the entire time. No, no, I'm not. That would lose me subscribers so fast it's not even funny, and I don't have that many to begin with. Please don't unsubscribe, guys. I'm sorry. I love you. I would love. I would lose subscribers so fast if I. Uh, I would uh, commentate literally the entire time while sounding like Big. All right. Hey, look, it's Chaos and Froggy. Chaos has killed a frog. And it went into Big's shoe for some reason. Also, there's a power up underneath the bed. What now? What now? What? What? Froggy, is that you? You're looking kind of weird, good buddy. Uh, is it because he has a tail now? What's up with the tail? Hey, wait a minute! You swallowed my lucky charm! Come back here! What's wrong with you? Something's not wrong. Hillary, I wish she had some lucky charms right now. Friend. For years! Froggy! Don't have me wrong. Oh, dear. You like lucky charms. I do, but it'll mean I want some right now. Yoo-hoo, Froggy! Froggy! Come out, come out, wherever you are! I get to play as Big the Cat, and it's oh, fine! Man. Where could my Poliwag pal be, anyway? Poliwag's a Pokemon there, Big. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to... The one and only Big the Cat! Alright, so here's how Big the Cat works. You move around, you jump. You don't get to do anything while you're jumping, and your action button is casting your lure. Yep, that's what you do. You cast your lure. You can also whack people with your rod if they're close enough to you. I'm just going to leave that there and not even touch that. Alright, so, that's basically what Big the Cat is all about. And yes, it's annoying, and it's not fun. But we have yet another power-up over here. I told you there were more characters that have power-ups over here. Big the Cat is another one. Lure power-up. Use this to catch bigger fish. Yes. Uh, Big the Cat is the only character to have more than one power-up. As you can see, there was a rod that was underneath his bed. And there's that lure power-up. And there's one other power-up. Aside from that, there is a bunch of... Um, Power ups for uh. There's a place somewhere in the city where you can go down into the sewer. Hi there, guys. Eggman! Eggman! Apparently, he says Eggman. What about you, yes. Tails? We have to find the rest of the missing Chaos Emeralds! Yep, but we're not here to worry about the rest of the Chaos Emeralds. We're gonna go down into the sewer. Let's go! Now, I'm not gonna be Proton John. I'm not gonna dick around as Big the Cat because. That's a waste of time. Hey, it's Froggy! What? And I'm not Proton John, that's correct. I'm not Canadian. And I'm also not a very sarcastic Canadian. I'm a very sarcastic American, but I'm not a very sarcastic Canadian. Wait, don't run away! Don't run what away, Froggy! What's wrong? I don't know. We should find out. All right, we can also lift cars. Big the Cat is also super strong. Lift big, if you want to lift that car. Big, lift, big, lift the car. Big, lift the car. Thank you. Jesus. All right, so obviously we can't jump up here and get the light speed shoes. 
So we have to go around the other direction and come over here and grab something else instead. And that thing is going the wrong way, I think. Did I go the wrong way? Uh... Stormy, bear right back. Wow, it's dark in here. Why, yes, it is dark in here, big. And I'm back. It's like, okay, I'm back. And now we're gonna go ahead and find Froggy. Nope, he's not over here. Is he over here? Huh? <laughs> he says, oh, whenever his tail is closed in there. Alright, so Big the Cat's not able to get into Twinkle Park, so he just has to go up and around to get into Twinkle Park. Oop. Welcome to Twinkle Park. Yay, I'm in Twinkle Park. Stage one, Twinkle Park. Alright, so, there's no enemies, I don't think, in this stage. You can find coins and stuff. See, just like that, you can find some coins. But really, all Big is about is literally fishing. Cast out your rod and find Froggy, which you can see him kind of swimming over there. And there you go. A to reel in. You can move around your with your joystick. In order to kind of get closer or away from fish. Reel in slowly in order to attempt to track fish. But yeah, other than that, that's pretty much what this game is all about. Here we go. As soon as something bites. Nope. Okay, that didn't work. Froggy. Froggy. Alright, as soon as it bites, you push the down button and it works. Alright, so you have to be careful about uh, the tension meter on your right. If you if your rod breaks, you die. Uh, so you just kind of have to slowly reel him in. Give him some slack. Reel in, give him slack, reel in, give him slack, reel in, give him slack. Alright. You just kind of do that. And you catch Froggy. And you'll notice the weight. Uh, the weight is uh, something that uh, Big does on the other missions. His supplemental missions would be to catch a certain amount of weight before catching Froggy. Froggy always weighs 500 grams. So keep that in mind. Welcome to Twinkle Park. So obviously you can catch other fish aside from Froggy, which I mean, that's fine and all. Hey look, the ice stone. And it's cream. Hello, cream. Hello, cream. How are you? Would you like to be part of my team in Sonic Heroes? The game hasn't come out yet, but I'm gonna talk about it anyway. I found a stone. It looks like a key. I can use it in the Mystic Ruins. Hi, honey. I love you very much. The train headed for the Mystic Ruins will be departing soon. Don't you? Ah, don't spray me. I'm a cat. I don't enjoy being sprayed by squirt bottles. Actually, that's the thing that confuses me. They say Big is a cat, and I guess I'm not going to deny that because, you know, canon and whatever. But Big looks more like a, uh... Did you see a stone with an ice pattern on it? But, um, Big looks more like a raccoon. Like a giant raccoon, and he does a cat. But I digress. We're on our... Stormy! Very back. Leave it to me whenever I'm actually playing as Big the Cat for me to have problems with my own cat. She's liking to get on the counter. She discovered how to do this a couple days ago. And ever since... And since then, she has been getting on the counter and it's been annoying. All right, so now we have access to Ice Cap. Big is one of the only other characters aside from Sonic and Tails to get access to Ice Cap, but we have yet another power up. You've 
discovered the life belt. It keeps you afloat when you're in water. To swim underwater, press the jump button when afloat. Right, so you can automatically float in water, which is super convenient when fishing in certain stages. But before we go into Ice Cap, we want to go somewhere else. I realize we're at 21 minutes, but I'm going to go ahead and do something else real quick. Something that should have been done a while back. If I can actually do it. The train headed for Station Square will be departing soon. Uh, we are going to go into the jungle. But actually, we can see Knuckles waiting over here. Hi, right, Knuckles. Didn't I see a green colored stone somewhere? Didn't you? I don't know. Hope. It's like Big can just like see everybody else doing more important things than what he's doing. Alright, so, welcome to the jungle. We have fun and games. Uh, Big going through here is kind of annoying because there's really no shortcuts with him. But we're actually wanting to go to Big's house. What? Did Stormy get onto the counter again? My wife likes to show me cute pictures whenever I'm recording, but that's okay because they're cute. Right, let's check a look at the map. Alright. Luckily, in order to get to Big's house, it's super convenient because all you have to do is follow the river. Because all rivers lead to Big's house. That's literally the case with all rivers. I wish this were Gamma. This would be a lot faster with Gamma, but at least I can follow the river on foot over here. That would be slightly faster. Right, at least I'm going the right way. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Going through the air. Alright. And slowly but surely, we have made it to Big's house. Welcome to Big's house. So we just have to lift up his bed, go under the bed, and we find a power up. It's the power rod. You now have longer casting distance. Yup, that's super convenient. Longer casting distance. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and end things off here. So next time, we're gonna go ahead and take on the Ice Cap. Find Froggy yet again, and we will go ahead and handle business with our new Power Rod, Giggity. So, I'll just meet you guys up there in the next episode. So, so long everybody, God bless. Bye guys.